following contains clips from Disney Pixar's Cars, Cars 2, and Cars 3, now available on Blu-ray and DVD. That it goes all mine. Yeah! Trouble, turn yeah! three! <laughs> Get through that, McQueen! Oh, a huge crash behind the leader. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second, Daryl. McQueen is in the wreckage. There's no way the rookie can make it through. Not in one piece, that is. Stop that? Stop what? That driving backwards stuff, it's creeping me out. You're gonna wreck or something. Wreck? Shoot. I'm the world's best backwards driver. You just watch this right here, lover boy. <laughs> what are you doing? Watch out, look out! Mater! Mater! <laughs> He's nuts. There ain't no need to watch where I'm going. Just need to know where I've been. Whoa, that was incredible. How'd you do that? Rear view mirrors. We'll get you some and I'll teach you if you want. Yeah, maybe I'll use it in my big race. Kuchira, eh, Dozo? Come with me, please, sir. But I'm gonna miss my plane. Right this way. Oh, doggone it. This is about my hook, ain't it? I know I should have checked it, but I can't miss it. Look, it's attached to me. Hey, I know you. You're that fella from the karate demonstration. I never properly introduced myself. Finn Mac Missile. British intelligence. Toe major. Average intelligence. Who are you with, FBI, CIA? Well, let's just say I'm AAA affiliated. You know, I know some karate. I don't want to brag or nothing, but I got me a black fan belt. <laughs> hey, you want to see some moves I made up? You're being followed. This first one, I can reach into a car's hood, pull out his battery, and show it to him before he stalls. I call it what I accidentally did to my friend Luigi once. There he is! Oh, wow, look, I probably ought to go. I'm about to miss my flight. Don't worry, I've taken care of that. Whoa. Hang on! This is first class service. You don't even have to go through the terminal. Your karate partners is back here. They kind of look like they're trying to catch up. Drive forward. Whatever you do, don't stop. Whoa! Whoa! I didn't mean that kind of shoe. Correction acknowledged. Deploying shoe. Whoa! We have a lunatic cake novel. Oh, listen. I was disguised as a tow truck to infiltrate this lemon head meeting, and my weapon system's done misinterpreted what I, I was repeat. saying. Lunatic cake novel. McQueen! McQueen! You're the champion. All right, this way, senor. McQueen! Mater? McQueen! McQueen! Here! Come McQueen. on! Give us a pose! McQueen! Back up, sir. Stop, stop moving! Stop! Hey, hey, hey! Where are you going? 
Oi, stop! Fermo lì! Mater, we've got to get that bomb off you. Bomb? Yeah, they strapped it to me to kill you as a backup plan. Backup plan? Mater, who put a bomb on you? Ah! You! Why didn't my death ray kill you? Death ray? Turn off the bomb, Zaka! Are you also dense? It's voice activated. Everything is voice activated these days. Deactivate! Deactivate! Voice denied. Ah! Whoops. <laughs> Did I forget to mention that it can only be disarmed by the one who activated it? Say it. Deactivate. Voice denied. Whoa! Oh, I'm not the one who activated it. Would anyone else like to try it? <laughs> you break my mind. Oh, he was getting on my nerves. What do we do? It's very simple. You blow up. I'm gonna go out on a limb here. These are the guys that want me dead, correct? It's nothing personal. Fellas, listen. I know what you're going through. Everybody's been laughing at me my whole life, too. But becoming powerful and rich beyond your wildest dreams ain't gonna make you feel better. Yeah, but it's worth a shot. <laughs> Okay, here we go, here we go! How do I do this? Come on, baby! Mr. McQueen! Cruz, thank you for the old man training, as crazy as it was, but I'm warmed up enough, and now I need you to launch this thing. Mr. McQueen, wait until you can handle it, please. There are no shortcuts. Okay, we'll just see about that. All right, my star racer is on the simulator! Why, yes I am! Well, let's see you take it out for a spin. Right away, Mr. Sterling! Owner of the company. Okay, have fun. This is what I'm talking about. Whoa, didn't know about those. Prepare oh. to race. Wait, what did it say? Is it the talking? The flag is out. I don't see the flag. What do I do? Go. Go? Go! Oh, that's sensitive. You have hit a wall. It shouldn't be this hard, should it? You have ah. hit a wall. You're fighting the simulator. Just race like you always do. You have Whoa. hit a wall. There can't be this many walls on a regular track! You have been passed by Jackson Storm. Wait, Storm's in the air? For motivation! Storm races at 207! Pick it up, Mr. McQueen! I'm trying! You have hit a wall. Mr. McQueen, come down from there and we'll work you up to this. I am fine, Cruz! I can do it, okay? Whoa, 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 whoa! You have jumped a barrier. Sorry. You have made two vehicles. You have destroyed a drinking fountain. You have disabled an ambulance. You are on fire. Danger. Danger. You are going the wrong way. Look out! Look out! Turn it off! Turn it off! Get these things off of me! You have crashed. You have crashed. Are you all right? You have crashed. I have crashed. I thought you were out here because your GPS was broken. Don't listen to him, Cruz. You look good. It's important to look the part. You can't have everyone thinking that you don't deserve to be here. He's trying to get in your head. They don't need to know what you and I already do. That you can play dress up all you want, but you'll never be one of us.
Cruz, did you see what happened there? Yeah, he's in, he's in my head. No, no, listen to me. You got into his head. Don't you understand? He would never have done that if you didn't scare him. What? He sees something in you that you don't even see in yourself. You made me believe it. Now you gotta believe it too. You are a racer. Use that. to get to California pronto. Where's your lawyer? I don't know. Tahiti, maybe. He's got a timeshare there. When a defendant has no lawyer, the court will assign one to him. Hey! Anyone want to be his lawyer? Shoot! I'll do it, Sheriff! Hmm. All rise. The Honorable Doc Hudson presiding. Show off. May Doc have mercy on your soul. Uh, all right. I want to know who's responsible for wrecking my town, Sheriff. I want his hood on a platter. I'm going to put him in jail till he rots. No, check that. I'm going to put him in jail till the jail rots on top of him, and then I'm going to move him to a new jail and let that jail rot. This here is Bessie, finest road paving machine ever built. I'm hereby sentencing you to community service. You're going to fix the road under my supervision. What? This place is crazy! Man, I know this might be a bad time right now, but, uh, you owe me $32,000 in legal fees. What? So we're gonna hit you up to Sweet Bessie, and you're gonna pull her nice. You gotta be kidding me. You start there where the road begins, you finish down there where the road ends. Holy shoot! That's why we made him the good. Boy, you should have heard me on Giddy Up Ooh Papa Mile Mile. I'm not one to brag. People come pretty far to see me get low on the mile mile. Oh, oh man, that's just great. Hey, what's wrong? My lucky sticker's all dirty. Ah, that ain't nothing. I'll clean it for you. <laughs> that won't be necessary. Hey, hey, big fella. Yeah, you and the rat. I could use a little hose down. Help me wash this off. Where's he going? Oh, he's just a little bit shy, and he hates you for killing his flowers. I shouldn't have to put up with this. I'm a precision instrument of speed and aerodynamics. You hurt your what? I'm the first one on the new road. It looks awful. Well, it matches the rest of the town. <laughs> <laughs> Red? Who do you think you are? Look, 
Doc said when I finished, I could go. That was the deal. The deal was you fix the road, not make it worse. And I'll scrape it off, start over again. Hey, look, Grandpa, I'm not a bulldozer. I'm a race car. Oh, ho, ho, ho. is that right? Then why don't we just have a little race, me and you? What? Ho, ho, ho. Me and you? Is that a joke? If you win, you go and I fix the road. If I win, you do the road my way. Doc, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't mean to be rude here, Doc, but you probably go zero to 60 in, like, what, 3.5 years? Well, then I reckon you ain't got nothing to worry about. You know what, old-timer? That's a wonderful idea. Let's race. <laughs> Was that floating like a Cadillac? Or was that stinging like a Beamer? I'm confused. <laughs> you drive like you fix roads. Lousy. Have fun fishing, Mater. <laughs> oh! Duh! Oh. I'm starting to think he knew you was gonna cry. Thank you, Mater. Thank you. I can make a little turn on dirt, you think? No. And now I'm a day behind. I'm never gonna get out of here. You need a new paint job, man. No, thank you. How about some organic fuel? That freak juice? Pass. Woo! Watching him work is making me thirsty. Anybody else want something to drink? Nah, not me, Flo. I'm on one of them special diets. I'm a precisional instrument of speed and aromatics. He's gone? Well, we wouldn't want him to miss that race of his. What's wrong with Red? Oh, he's just sad because you left town and went to your big race to win the Piston Cup that you've always dreamed about your whole life and get that big old sponsor and that fancy helicopter you was talking about. <laughs> I know you wouldn't leave without saying goodbye. <laughs> what are you doing here, son? You're gonna miss your race. Don't worry. I'll give you a police escort and we'll make up the time. Thank you, Sheriff. Well, you know, I can't go just yet. Why not? I'm not sure these tires <gasps> can get me all the way to California. Feet stop? Yeah, does anybody know what time Luigi's opens? If you can drive as good as you can fix a road, then you can win this race with your eyes shut. Now get back out there. Hot snot, we are back in business. Guido, Luigi, you're going up against professional pit crews, boys. You're gonna have to be fast. They will not know what beat them. Kid, you can beat these guys. Find the groove that works for you and get that lap back. What are you doing, kid? I think the king should finish his last race. <laughs> you just gave up the piston cut. You know then? Ah, this grumpy old race car now once told me something. It's just an empty cup.
Daryl, is pushing on the last lap legal? Hey, man, he's not really pushing him. He's just giving him a little bump grab. <laughs> hey, what? What's going on? That's what I call racing right there. <laughs> Somebody's been sabotaging the racers and hurting the cars, and I know who. Oh, wait. Your Majesty. Boom! It's a boom! Freaks! Everybody down! Get him! Hold your fire! He can't disarm it. Mater, I don't know what you're doing, but stand down now. This ain't nothing at all like Radiator Spring. Mater, just cut to the chase. Okay, it's him. What? Me? You got to be crazy. I figured it out when I realized y'all attached this ticking time bomb with Whitworth bolts. The same bolts that hold together that old British engine from the photograph. Holly, show that picture. Okay. And then I remembered what they say about old British engines. If there ain't no oil under them, there ain't no oil in them. What is he talking about? It was you leaking oil at the party in Japan. You just blamed it on me. Electric cars don't use oil, you twit. Then you're faking it. You didn't convert to no electric. If we pop that hood, we gonna see that engine from that picture right there. This lorry's crazy! He's gonna kill us all! <laughs> Stay away! But Sir Axelrod created the race, Mater. Why would he want to hurt anyone? To make all in all look bad, so everybody go back to using oil. I mean, he said it himself with that disguised voice. Disguised voice? What are you talking about? You're nuts, you are! This is going nowhere fast. We really should go, Grandmother. One moment. I'd like to see where this is going. Mater, he created all in all. Yeah, but what if he found that huge oil field just as the world was trying to find something else? What if he came up with all in all just to make alternative few look bad? What if? You're basing this on a what if? Okay, that's it. Right, let's clear out. Wait, somebody save me! The lorry's crazy. Keep away, you idiot. Mater! Mater! Someone do something! Drive away! You're insane, you are! Deactivate! Bomb deactivated. Have a nice day, Sir Axelrod. <laughs> Engine from the photo. It's a perfect match. How did the tow truck figure it out? It's official. You're coming to all my races from now on. Now you're talking. Well, the green light's on, pit road is open, and everybody's coming in. Get ready, guys. Luigi, Guido, tires, Fillmore, fuel. Okay, I'm here. What's going on? No, not me. Her. <sighs> What? What is she doing back Come here? Come on, guys, get her set up, quickly! Okay, Wait, wait what's happening? Hey, Ramon! You got your paints? <laughs> you know I do. Wait, guys, what are you doing? Man, I don't understand it. McQueen's just sitting there. Something's gotta be wrong. Mr. McQueen? Today's the day, Cruz. You're getting your shot. What? I started this race, and you're gonna finish it. What? She'll damage the brand. She's just a trainer. No, she's a racer. Just took me a while to see it. That can't be legal. The rules only say the number has to be out there. Doesn't say who has to wear it. No, you can't do that! Hey, can I tell you how much I love your mud flaps? Out of my way, bumped yeah, I got my fishing flaps, got my church flaps, I'm going out eating flaps. Come on, guys, we gotta get her out there! Let's go! I check you! Jack! Ramon! Uh, best I could do in the time frame, boss. Yeah. That'll work. Why are you doing this? You said it yourself. This might be your last chance. Which makes it my last chance to give you your first chance, Cruz. And this time I want you to take it. She's got to beat that pace car out. No, 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 you can't do that. Now or never. Well, what do you say? Racers are settling in as they head to the Italian countryside. Whoop!
boy! This is going to be a great race! The racers are now making their way around the hairpin and headed downhill toward the casino bridge. What happened behind them? This is impossible. That's what I'm talking about. Ka-chow! What, what, what happened? Where are all the other cars? What is going on? Oh, no. We're live at Radiator Springs, the gateway to Ornament Valley, for a special presentation of the Racing Sports Network. It's the Radiator Springs All-Stars Race. Some of the biggest names in racing will be competing today in four heats, starting at the Wheelwell Motel and racing down here to Willie's Butte. Let's go over to Gogo Logano to see who will be racing in today's race. When it comes to all-stars of racing, there's no bigger name than the King Strip Weathers. He's had an unprecedented run with seven Piston Cup championships under his belt. The King is racing royalty and a legend in the sport. Then we have racing sensation Lightning McQueen, who's no stranger to the Piston Cup himself. He's brought a whole new style of racing to the track. Whenever you see Lightning McQueen, you're in for a show. Next up is Chick Hicks, a racing veteran with a chip on his shoulder. He's probably known for more second place finishes than Piston Cups. Keep an eye on him because he doesn't always play nice on the track. And last up is Billy Oil Changer, a race car with dreams of becoming a racing commentator one day after he retires. Billy's driving for Octane Gain Turbo Vitamins. Here we go, the racers are at the start at the Wheelwell Motel. They'll be racing in four heats. The order in which they finish each race is how they'll start the next one. They're all lined up, and here we go! Strip Weathers in the lead as they go over the bridge. Lightning McQueen behind him in second. The King is first through turn two. Billy Oil Changer gets spun around. Here they go around Willie's Butte, and the King will take the win on race one. Lightning McQueen appeared to be taunting Chick Hicks. Let's see a replay of what happened. Keep an eye on the number 95 Lightning McQueen. And right there, I believe that's what he calls a ka-chow. Billy Oil Changer not looking too happy out there. He's gonna pull over for an early pit stop. And here we go with race number two of four. Strip Weathers and Lightning McQueen in the front row, Chick Hicks and Billy Oil Changer in the back row. And they're off for the second race. The King in the lead once again, this time Chick Hicks behind him in second. Lightning McQueen falls back to third. The King goes flying through the corner, Lightning McQueen spins out of control. Billy Oil Changer has crashed. Now the King spins out. Oh, and a questionable move by Chick Hicks, shoving the King Strip Weathers off the track. The crowd does not seem too happy about that. The King appears to be okay. Chick Hicks and the King certainly have a history together in the Piston Cup. Billy Oil Changer is upside down. Lightning McQueen right there with him. Let's go to the replay. You can see Lightning McQueen gets spun around. He's going in reverse. Then he goes into a wild spin and that sends Billy Oil Changer upside down. Strip Weathers had a big lead. He lost control going around Willie's Butte. But then look at Chick Hicks, a direct hit into the front end of the King. This just in, the race officials have decided to disqualify that win for Chick Hicks due to unsportsmanlike conduct. Chick Hicks will start the next race in the pole position, but that win will not count. Chick Hicks clearly not happy about that call by the officials. Towing for today's race is provided by Towmaters Towing and Salvage, the best towing service you'll find here in Radiator Springs. It doesn't matter if you have a flat or you just stalled out, Towmater will get her done. Chick Hicks starting off on the front left, the King Strip Weathers on the front right. And there they go down the track for race three. 
They're across the bridge, the King taking the lead back from Chick Hicks. Chick in second place behind the King, something he's very used to. The King loses control again, and here comes Chick Hicks with a pass. He takes the checkered flag and is now tied with the King, one win each. The King having a lot of trouble here on the dirt track at Willie's Butte. I'm guessing he may not be used to dirt track racing. A great move there by Chick Hicks, and this time it wasn't a dirty move. That's going to bring us to our fourth and final race. This race will determine the Radiator Springs All-Stars Race winner. Can Chick Hicks pull off a win against the King, or will Lightning McQueen or Billy Oil Changer come from behind to create a three-way tie? There they go down the track for the final race. It's a tight race between Chick Hicks and the King. Chick Hicks takes the lead. The King is not far behind. Lightning McQueen in third. Chick Hicks now pulling ahead, he spins out. Here comes the King. Oh my, what a win by the King Strip Weathers. He was behind Chick Hicks that entire race, waiting for an opportunity to pass, and he pulls it off right at the finish line. That right there is why they call him the King. An absolutely amazing race by the King Strip Weathers. Tex Dynaco out there trackside cheering him on. The King, once again, making Team Dynaco proud. with your eyes shut. Now get back out there. Hot snot, we are back in business. Guido, Luigi, they're going up against professional pit crews, boys. You're going to have to be fast. They will not know what beat them. Kid, you can meet these guys. Find the groove that works for you and get that lamp back. <laughs> You look so down, so low. It's like you have flat tires. Ma guarda, sta morendo di fame. Gli preparerò una bella cena così in grasso. She said, you look like you are starving. That she's gonna make you a big meal and fatten you up. Oh, right? no. Uh, Mama Topolino, please, you, you don't need to make a fuss. Capisco. I understand. Is a problem, yes? Between you and the friend? Don't you know that? A wise car hears one word and understands two. That and Luigi told me. While Mama cooks, come and take a stroll with me. I brought my friend Mater along on the trip, and you know, I told him he needed to act different, that we weren't in Radiator Springs. This Mater is a close friend? He's my best friend. Then why would you ask him to be someone else? <laughs> what did I do? I, I said some things during our fight, and... You know... Back when Guido and Luigi used to work for me, they would fight over everything. They fight over what Ferrari was the best Ferrari. Which one of them looked more like a Ferrari? There were even some non-Ferrari fights. So I tell them, Eva Bene, it's okay to fight. Everybody fights now and then, especially best friends. You gotta make up fast. No fight more important than friendship. He trovo un amico, trovo un tesoro. What does that mean? Whoever find a friend, find a treasure. Now, manja! E dov'è la mia scena? La cena, ma tu lo sai. Ma solo. Con questi bulloni del cavolo, le mie chiavi non funzionano! Oh, what's he saying? What's wrong? None of his wrenches fit the bolts. I get it. I get it! I know what needs to be done. Then do it! What? No, I can't do it. 
Look, nobody takes me seriously. I know that now. This ain't Radiator Springs. Yes, it is. Look, you're yourself in Radiator Springs. Be yourself here. And if, if people aren't taking you seriously, then they need to change. Not you. I know that because I was wrong before. Now you can do this. You're the bomb. Thanks, buddy. No, 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 you're the actual bomb. Now let's go! All right! Hang out! Where's she going? Barry! Yes, Agent Major. I need that thing you've done before to get me away from the plane. Let's take knowledge. Oh, radar? I need you to do the shoot. The second time, not the first. Deploying shoot. Ah! stickers hey Sal how you feeling yeah great really really great been thinking about Doc again yeah you know they told him when he was done he didn't decide I don't want what happened to Doc to happen to me but that hasn't happened no but I can't go out on the track and do the same old thing. It won't work. Then change it up. Try something new. I don't know, Sally. I... Don't fear failure. Be afraid of not having the chance. You have the chance. Doc didn't. And you can either take it, or you can do what you've been doing, sitting in here for months. And by the way, I love what you've done with the place. I mean, the monster movie lighting and the uh, musky air freshener. And don't let anyone tell you you're not working that primer because wow, I have never found you more attractive. And now that I've been in here for a couple minutes, the stench, I'm getting kind of used okay, to it. Okay, okay, Sal, I get it. I get it. I miss you, Lightning. We all do. Try something new, huh? Hey, did it work, Miss Sally? Did you set him straight with your lawyerly powers of persuasion? Is he ready to start training? Well, Stinky? Stickers? <laughs> yes, Mater. I am. <laughs> I decide when I'm done. I was hoping you'd say that. Okay, but I got an idea, and I'm gonna need to talk to Rusty and Dusty, all right? Oh, I'll get them on the horn! <laughs> get it on the horn? <laughs> hey, is it getting dark out? Uh, what? What did he say? Let me say that again. Is it getting dark out? Now, what was I supposed to do after that? Life could be a dream. Life could be a dream. Do, 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 shaboom. Life could be a dream. Shaboom. If I could take you up in paradise up above. Shaboom. If you would tell me I'm the only one that you love. Life could be a dream. Sweetheart, hello, hello again. Shaboom, and open with me again. Boom, but they don't need ding dong. Fix their neon. Low and slow. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Just like in his heyday, right? It's even better than I pictured it. Thank you. If you do what I want you to. Shall we cruise? Oh, thank you, dear. I'd love to. No, no, no. Lizzie! I remember when Stanley first asked me to take a drive with him. But oh, he was a persistent little bugger for a two cylinder. Oh. <laughs> hey! 
Thanks, Mater. Good evening, you two. Oh, Stanley. I wish you could see this. What's so important about this race of yours, anyway? It's not just a race. We're talking about the Piston Cup. I've been dreaming about it my whole life. I'll be the first rookie in history ever to win it. And when I do, we're talking big new sponsor with private helicopters. No more medicated bumper ointment. No more rusty old cars. What's wrong with rusty old cars? Oh, I don't mean you, Mater. I mean other old cars. You know, not like you. I like you. Nah, it's okay, buddy. Hey, you think maybe one day I can get a ride in one of them helicopters? I mean, I've always wanted to ride in one of them fancy helicopters. Yeah, 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 sure, sure. You mean it? Oh, yeah, anything you say. I knew it. I knowed I made a good choice. In what? My best friend. See you tomorrow, buddy. McQueen and Sally, park beneath the tree. K-I-S, something, 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 How about coming over here and talk to me a minute? Son, that was some real racing out there. How'd you like to become the new face of Dinoco? But I didn't win. Lightning, there's a whole lot more to racing than just winning. Thank you, Mr. Tex, but, but these Rusties guys over there gave me my big break. I don't want to stick with them. Well, I sure can respect that. Still, you know, if there's ever anything I can do for you, just let me know. I sure appreciate that. Thank you. Actually, there is one thing. <laughs>
Faster and fast, I am speed. Come on, Luigi. On your mark. Catch us ahead. Let's go. 46 miles per hour. 63 miles out of range. Out of range. Out of range. Huh. That's odd. I didn't go. On sand, you gotta ease into your start so your tires can grab, okay? Okay. You do work with race cars, don't you? Yeah, but never outside. All right, let's go again. Go! 54 miles per hour. There you go! 75 miles per hour. Out of range. Out huh? of range. Out of range. Sorry! Got stuck! Go again! And go! Sorry! Go! Go! The beach ate me. All right, Cruz, pick a line on the compacted sand. You gotta have traction or you're gonna spin out. Let's do this thing. On your mark, get set to go. 122 miles per hour. 134 miles out of range. Out of range. Out of range. Now what? I didn't want to hit a crab. You gotta be kidding me. What? It was cute. <sighs> All right, one last chance to try this before it gets dark. Now, you're gonna take off slow to let your tires grab. Yes. And pick a straight line on hard sand so you don't spin out. Uh-huh. And all of the crabbies have gone night-night. Mr. McQueen. All right, let's go again. Let's go. 150 miles per hour. 175 miles per hour. How'd I do? Maybe it's best that he doesn't show up. You know, after how last season ended. Let me put it this way. I'm not losing any sleep wondering where Lightning McQueen is. Fluffy cloud. I hope you got your drip pan. Got my drip pan and I'm taking my nap. Bring it on, old man. Luigi, go! Finish. You sure made Dinoco proud. Thank you, King. Well, Tex, you've been good to me all these years. It's the least I could do. Whatever happens, you're a winner to me, you old daddy rabbit. Thanks, dear. Wouldn't be nothing without you. Thanks, Lightning. You're welcome. Congrats on the loss, me bucko! You got a lot of stuff, kid. Thanks, Doc. Hey, Lightning. How about coming over here and talk to me a minute? Son, that was some real racing out there. How'd you like to become the new face of Dinoco? But I didn't win. Lightning, there's a whole lot more to racing than just winning. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Tex, but, but these Rusty's guys over there gave me my big break. I want to stick with them. Well, I sure can respect that. Gooey, 
Guido, your eyes do not deceive you. We are in Italy. We are home. Hey, Luigi, which way to the hotel, man? What? No friend of mine will stay in a hotel in my village. You will stay with my Uncle Tappalino! Luigi, Guido, che bello rivedervi! Bentornati, amici! Guido, Luigi, sono tornati! Hey, race car! You look so down, so low. It's like you have flat tires. Ma guarda, sta morendo di fame. Gli preparerò una bella cena così in grasso. She said, you look like you are starving. That she's gonna make you a big meal and fatten you up. Oh, eh? no, no. Uh, Mama Topolino, please, you, you don't need to make a fuss. Um... Capisco. I understand. Is a problem, yes? Between you and the friend? How'd you know that? A wise car hears one word and understands two. That and Luigi told me. While Mama cooks, come and take a stroll with me. I brought my friend Mater along on the trip, and you know, I told him he needed to act different, that we weren't in Radiator Springs. This Mater? He's a close friend? He's my best friend. Then why would you ask him to be someone else? What did I do? I, I said some things during our fight, and... You know, back when Guido Luigi used to work for me, they would fight over everything. Ever been. It's okay to fight. Everybody fights now and then. Especially best friends. Now you gotta make up fast. No fight more important than friendship. Chi trova un amico, trova un tesoro. What does that mean? Whoever finds a friend, find a treasure. Now, manja! E dov'è la mia cena? La cena? Ma tu Passi la da solo! Bellissima! Thank you for your support! And your big mistake, McQueen! In the second position! Numero 95! Lightning McQueen! McQueen, is everything okay? If you're worried about your fuel, man, don't. It's perfectly safe. No, guys, I just really wish Mater were here. Francesco understands, McQueen. Oh, great. Here it comes. What do you got, Francesco? For famous race cars like Francesco and, well, you, to be far away from home is uh, not easy. I think you forgot the insulting part of that insult. Is it no insult? When Francesco is away from home, he misses his mama. Just like you miss your tow truck, amico. Gee, I, I, I maybe misjudged you because th that's exactly... Of course, I am at home and my mama is right here. Mama! <laughs> Don't worry, mama. My queen is very sad. I will beat his cry baby bottom today. And there's the insult we were missing. Grazie. <laughs> Time to go. Sidley's gas geared and ready to fly. You leaving already? We've got another mission, Mater. Just stop by here to pick something up. Something tells me you're not talking about souvenir bumper stickers. Her Majesty asked for you personally, Mater. But I told y'all before, I'm not a spy. We know. Spy or not, you're still the smartest, most honest chap we've ever met. Don't forget, massively charming. Well, thanks. But as much fun as it was hanging with y'all, this, this is home. That's all right, we understand. But I'll be back. You still owe me that first date. If there's ever anything I can do for you, just let me know. Well, I sure appreciate that, thank you.
What I want you to do is visualize beating this guy. <sighs> Storm. Uh-huh, that's right. Get him. Get him, Mr. McQueen. Get him? This thing's only going like five miles an hour. We'll work up to the higher speeds right after you take your nap. Nap? Uh, I need a nap. nap. <laughs> Get him with the bugs. <laughs> I am not taking a nap. All cars on the test way. Mm. How was your nap, Mr. McQueen? It was kind of refreshing, actually. <laughs> oh, OK, what are you doing? Hey. You've been driving on tires a long time. Have you ever stopped to get to know them? I'm sorry, what? Tires are individuals. You should give each a name. Name them. <laughs> I won't be doing that. Mine are named Maria, Juanita, Ronaldo, and Debbie Richardson. What? Long story. May I have my tires back so I can go on the simulator, please? Name them. Uh, lefty, righty, backy, backy junior, okay? Does this make you mad? Yes, it does! Use that!
This will get oil to places it hasn't been in a long time. Is that a drip pan? Just in case. How old do you think I am? Visualize yourself driving fast down a steep hill. I'll be back in a few. Visualize? Wait, wait, Cruz! A few what? I just want to go on the simulator. How's it hanging? Drip pan. Treadmill. This thing's only going like five miles an hour. We'll work up to the higher speeds right after you take your nap. Nap? <laughs> I need a nap? What <laughs> 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 the bugs? <laughs> I am not taking a nap. <laughs> How was your nap, Mr. McQueen? It was kind of refreshing, actually. <laughs> oh, okay, what are you doing? Hey, you've been driving on tires a long time. Have you ever stopped to get to know them? I'm sorry, what? Tires are individuals. You should give each a name. Name them. <laughs> I won't be doing that. Mine are named Maria, Juanita, Ronaldo, and Debbie Richardson. What? Long story. May I have my tires back so I can go on the simulator, please? Name them. Uh, lefty, righty, backy, backy, junior, okay? Does this make you mad? Yes, it does! Use that! 